Also new here at 4, you know, every day we share with you ways that so many of you are rising to the challenge and nonprofits are among that group. Their mission does not stop even though we're in the middle of this pandemic. Well, WATE 6 on your side reporter Laura Holm now puts a spotlight on a special group that is working to help our most vulnerable children. A courtroom can be a scary place. That's why CASA of East Tennessee has advocates who build relationships with little ones involved in child abuse and neglect cases. And so it's a safe place for these children to share um, some of the things that may be going on in their home. Things are different right now for CASA because of this pandemic. We are in the middle of a major crisis for these children. Um, having that limited contact having limited safe people, having limited resources for families just puts these children, these vulnerable populations at a much higher risk. Um, and that's very scary. Costa advocates are working remotely using FaceTime or Zoom to connect with their kids. We're trying to be as involved and um, invested in them given this current circumstances, especially since um, there isn't as many eyes and ears on these children as we typically would like. CASA advocates saying emergency cases are still being heard in court, but there are concerns that the stress of this pandemic may lead to more abuse. When courts do open, hopefully in May, there is going to be a two month log of children who have been waiting to have their cases heard. And this is going to increase our need for advocates and volunteers in our community. The last few weeks have been heavy on the hearts of those who take care of kids, but there are glimmers of hope. Knoxville has really come together to do the best with what we have right now, and that is wonderful to see. In Knoxville, Laura Holm, WATE 6 on your side. And if you're wanting to help these little ones, there are two ways you could have a really big impact on their lives. You can sign up to be a CASA volunteer. The next volunteer training is happening virtually. It's uh, through video conferencing starting May 4th, or you can donate online. We made sure to put links and more information for you on our website, wate.com. Be sure to look in the As Seen On section.